home plate up Angel Hernandez. Ryan Coomer not happy and displays that displeasure with as he throws his helmet. Cubs third base coach Gene Glenn will argue the call, and he is gone as well. Now the seventh inning stretch. Steve McMichael with the honors, but apparently he's not happy with the call either. Hey, don't worry. I'll have, a, I'll have some speech with that home plate umpire after the game. <laughs> yeah, Hernandez wasn't amused. Uh, McMichael was later talked. Top of the ninth game tied at four. Runner on Juan Fier. Soft fly. Michael Tucker stretches. We're tied still at four. Bottom nine still tied. Two men on. Listen up. playing Little League Baseball. Take another look. Ricky Gutierrez stumbles, going around 30, goes back, wait, is event, then is eventually comes home for the winning run. It's crazy stuff. Crazy, crazy stuff. Cubs eventually win five to four. Back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. You know what Cub fans were thinking after seeing this? That this is it. This is a turning point. This is destiny. It is a sign. Lost in the wild finish, Kyle Farnsworth pitching one and a third hitless innings for the win. In the loss for the Rockies, Todd Helton with his 35th homer. Rockies now dropped to 10 and 20 this season in single run games. One other note for the Cubs, Chicago righty Kerry Wood will miss 